Hey everybody, this is Brian from PNB Homestead and it's time for the update for the uh, mid-size grow tent. And I'm going to talk about some changes that I'm going to be doing to this tent in the next week. So let's get this camera over here, got my safety goggles, put those on. Alright, so you can see the uh, hot mix looks like it's grown a little bit and it's a, uh, you know, one of, that's, I guess I'll talk about one of the things that I'm going to do to the tent before I talk about the actual growth. So what I'm going to be doing next week is I've ordered some uh, under trays. Because one of the problems I'm having with this tent, if anything, is that I can't thoroughly water these without overwatering them sometimes. And when you see the salad bar LED update this week, you'll see the arugula that I pulled out of here and how it was a little bit oversaturated after the last watering. And a lot of it has rotted and fell over and just started to rot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these trays, I'm going to transition these into the ones that have the holes in them, the, the 1022 trays that have the holes instead of the solid bottom. So that way I can actually have a tray on here. It's going to be a, a plastic tray that goes across the entire width of this. They'll sit in that, and on the back side of each of those trays I'm going to drill a, uh, a nipple and put in a grommet, a rubber grommet that seals it, and then I'm going to probably put some silicone around that, then run plastic tubing along the side down this side here and into a five gallon bucket that'll be at the base down here which I can take out and then I can use that uh, drainage water and I can dump that into like the tomatoes and the large grow tent. So that way it's going to allow me to have watering to where I just come in here with my dram water wand and I water those trays and any excess will drain through, go through the trays, out the tubing, down into the bucket. So that way I'm not going to oversaturate these but I can come down and water them every day if I need to and that way they will stay moist and growing and I'll probably get a little bit more production out of that but I won't have to worry about overwatering because there's been a case in a few of these trays where I've overwatered and then sometimes it's underwatered and you get a little bit of leaf wilt like some of these in the front here this tray here it's pretty dry right now but I checked it yesterday and it felt a little moist so I thought well I'll leave it but then overnight with the lights on and it's running a 13 hour cycle then it gets a dr dried out over the night so then it, you know i think i'm hindering my growth potential by having not enough moisture in these trays to keep them producing at their maximum capabilities so that's kind of the update i wanted to give for what i'm going to be putting into this tent next week uh, well i'll be doing that this week as part of my you know during the week after work i'll be putting those trays together and probably come down here and start sliding some of them in you know day day after day and they should be in here by next weekend so I can show you an update on that. But as far as the trays go, see how I like this one here. You can see it got a little bit wet back there. And then I don't have the regrowth that I did on the DMR blend on this one, which is a second cut or a first cut. Both of these were the first cut trays that I did about a week and a half ago. You can see there's some good growth on this side, but over there it's a little anemic. And whereas the tray before I was keeping wet, and now this one here. It's a little bit too moist. So when I do my waterings, it's not draining off that excess. So that's kind of one of the things I wanted to mention for this week. Uh, the beta mixes are doing really well. They've, you know, grown up quite a bit. I'm going to be moving those into the uh, salad bar LED area this week. I'm going to do a harvest tonight for our salads for the coming week. And then I'll move this first cut back over there this week. I'll probably move this one probably this beta solid mix over there so that way it can veg out a little more but I don't know maybe that one down right here because it looks like it's a little bit fuller so I'll probably pull that one over but uh, the hardy lettuce mix seems to be doing pretty well it's got a lot of nice top growth going here check the water here real quick it's a, a little moist I watered these yesterday because some of these were uh, looking a little kind of sad a little dehydrated but uh, hopefully with the new trays that's going to correct that issue kind of the update for the, uh, the trays. Let's see, the gourmet lettuce blend was one I took in last week. Let me tilt the camera down here so you guys can get a load of that. And it's starting its regrowth. So you can see that it's got a little bit of new growth on there coming up. So that's going to, probably in another two weeks it'll be ready for its next harvest. But uh, yeah, there's that beta salad mix here. It's getting really, really tall, so that's going to probably move over to the, the Salabar LED tent. That one there's got a lot of nice growth on it too, so I'm going to have to probably rotate this one, you know, to spin it around because you can see big leaves here, 
small leaves there and a little bit bigger over here so that gap that gap does influence the bigger leaf you know things like the chards and I imagine if I had kale in here it would probably do the same type of thing so the broad leaves are affected by those gaps but it doesn't seem to be the case for the, uh, the thinner leaf ones they seem to be able to pick up enough light to where they grow pretty evenly because this this one here was over here last week and as you can see it's still got a lot of growth pretty evenly all across so it's not uh, it's not hindered by that gap and then this one up here of course it's got higher up lights so I mean I guess I could probably take out these boards and see if I can actually lower this down but then I was having the gap you know issue where it wasn't really performing like I was expecting it to so maybe I'll take this one take this out and I'll leave the other two down here raised up a little higher so that way they are closer to the lights now well, that's kind of the update for this week on the mid-sized tent all right well this has been Brian from PNB Homesteading I'll talk to you guys again all right bye guys